Hi! This wonderful piano song got many requests for a piano tutorial. So here we go! About this song, it's a progression of four chords. The first one is D minor, then it's B major flat, then it's F major, and then the almighty C major. Now, the left hand will follow the structure, meaning it will alternate between the chords. Or you can make chords of four. Whereas for the right hand, it plays a bit with inversions. So the very first one will be in, in the uh, higher register. So you're starting, we are starting with the second inversion of the D, ma D minor. So you're starting with the second inversion of D minor. Great, and then you, you play it uh, one by one in, in arpeggiato. Twice, right? Then you are going to the root of the B major flat. Great. Then you are going to the first inver inversion of F major. So from this one you, you do the first inversion. Great. And the fourth and last one is the second inversion of C major. Now, me shutting up and then playing the four chords without any words. Great. So for the first part, you put them together. In between, you can do some jumps on the left hand, for example. Basically, what you play in the lower part, you just double it in the higher part. That adds a bit of dynamism because this song is quite repetitive, so you need to spice things up a bit. Great, now there is a bridge, a very small bridge, in between this and the main part of the song. So basically you are playing with the right hand, um, you are going from the top to the bottom and uh, you do the arpeggiato in inverted mode for the second inversion of um, C major. Complicated but just take a look at it and, it's, and see how, how that's in practice. It's the same thing, you're just turning your hand. part it's not that different from the first part basically you you stop playing it here you're going it lower one eighth lower with your right hand so from here you migrate here and everything else just follows the same loop whereas for the left hand you're going i would say as low as possible but also see for your liking uh, if it's too uh, if it's too low then you can go one octava later one eighth later so, uh, let's just use this example. Something else that I do to spice things up a bit towards the end, because again, the song is quite repetitive, would be to come to travel with the left hand on top of the right hand and play not what the lower part of the left hand is playing, but what the higher part of the right hand is playing. In practice, Loop, num loop number one, so we are on uh, D minor. I'm playing A here, because this is A for the right hand, and then I'm also playing it there. It follows the same strategy. So I'm playing the uh, B flat. 
test it again. I'm playing the A. And then. And voila. If you play it again without any words. And here you go. If you like this tutorial, let me know. If you like new tutorials to come up, let me know your suggestions and thank you for following my content.